Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully good. I'm pretty good. I'm just sort of chilling today, hanging around, minding my own business. Today, guys, I found something pretty neat. I found an interesting bug slash quirk, and it has some pretty interesting implications. So let me actually show you it. No, I don't need to hand anything. This is this is totally intentional. I'm not stuck or anything. So today, guys, we're going to be looking at something called a vector or a path. Now, your first question may be, what is a vector? Allow me to explain. So put simply, a vector is a calculation or a mathematical formula. It basically describes the relationship between two points in space time. So you can have point A and you can have point B over here. And it essentially describes the relationship to those two points. Um, I think the official the official description of it is basically an order of magnitude, so length or speed, and a direction, and that equals a vector. Interestingly enough, there are actually a few examples of vectors and paths in Minecraft. For example, the leash, which you're probably familiar with, is a vector or a path. It describes the relationship between the leash and the leashed mob, and it creates a calculation, a visual calculation of that relationship. Um, another one is the guardian beam. Yep. So as you can see, I can move around, and as I move around, the beam actually adjusts. So if I go this way, the magnitude increases and decreases, i.e. the length. And if I come around here, then the direction changes. Another one is the relationship between the dragon and the ender crystal. So if that dragon were to fly around, I don't think it'd be a very good idea in this room though, the uh, the beam, the ender crystal beam, would actually adapt to it. And that's a, another example of a, uh, a vector. Another one is actually the fishing line hook, but that one doesn't really count because it's not really a, a proper thing. So what I've learned today, guys, is how to create an unrestricted graphical path. And for that, we're going to be using ye old leash. Now we could use the other ones, but this one is more stable. So you probably have already noticed with leashes, if the animal were to go too far from the connection point, then it tends to snap, which is, isn't really the best of things. But I've actually found a strange quirk today, which allows unrestricted length between those two points. And it works in a bit of a weird way. So essentially, for some reason or another, squids don't work properly with leashes. So if you actually leash a squid, so you take this leash, for some strange, strange reason, the leash doesn't break, it doesn't snap. I'm assuming it maybe is because squids don't have legs and they sort of work kind of differently from most other mobs. But for some reason, this leash doesn't snap and it can just literally go on until the squid goes at a render distance, which is actually really, really cool for two reasons. First of all, because paths and vectors are neat, but also, technically speaking, this works in survival. Now, my first initial thought was, of course, to create power lines, because, hey, why not? It would look cool, and it does look cool. Now, you may have seen something like this before, because you can do this with other methods, but if we have unrestricted length, then we can create a power line of any length, which I think looks a lot better, because power lines tend to be pretty long. Now, again, the way this works is very, very simple. It's essentially just an animal, in this case a pig, connected to the squid, and that creates the unbroken connection. Now, that's pretty cool. But I had another idea that I thought would be even cooler. So today I've made a rudimentary vector graphic image editor. Now, if you've ever used something like Adobe Illustrator, you'll actually be familiar with vector graphics. So conventionally, if you've ever seen a Minecraft display, these would actually use something more similar to raster graphics or raster, a raster image. So the difference between a raster image and a vector image is a raster image is basically just an array of pixels on a screen. And the main benefit of using vector graphics over raster graphics is that because these are calculations, they can be scaled indefinitely. So you can basically scale them to small or size and not lose any quality, which is not the case for raster graphics. So let me let me show you this in action because this is pretty neat. Okay, so let's give it a go. Now, the way this works is, again, very simple. Uh, all you have to do is connect two points and then take another two points and connect them. So let's let's give it a shot. So if we fire this snowball over here, place that there, and place another one over here, we'll create a line or a path or a vector. Okay, so we can actually go and create another one if we so desire, like so, put another one on the screen like that. And we can actually connect them up if we want to. So we can connect this one up here, like so go and this one we can move down here if we want to do to let's try and create a triangle so we get another one because obviously triangles have three sides 
let's get another one on the screen and we can connect this guy if we just get it right because obviously it's got to be perfect guys it's got to be perfect that's yeah, good enough uh, and then we'll try to put this guy down here and that creates a triangle. So that's a base, a very basic shape. You could actually create something a little bit more complex. Okay, so let's try to create something else. Let's try a lightning bolt. Let's see how that turns out. Now, if you actually want to create some of these leashed entities yourself, it's pretty simple to do. You need to take two mobs, two living mobs. This doesn't work on non-living things. For example, if you try to leash a minecart, it wouldn't work. So in this case, we have a squid and a pig. The pig is the holder of the leash and the squid is the leashed mob. So you have to take the leashed mob and you have to input the UUID most and the UUID least of the mob that is holding, in this case, the pig. Now you can actually just set these UIDs to whatever you like. So if you spawn these guys in, you can just set that to, for example, minus 50 and positive 50. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much all there is to this strange creation. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, a like is, of course, always much appreciated. Subscribe if you're not already. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.